there is more pressure because of the amount of um, media, the amount of people that come in. As you were, the London was packed. Um, so our horses are used to performing on a normal day to day where there's thousands and thousands of people, noises. Um, the horses specifically for the Queen's funeral, we had to prepare them for potentially having flowers or flags draped around them so you have to desensitise them to that because they have a very important to do which is also quite nerve-wracking for the soldiers that rode them. It's brilliant it's the feeling you get you get adrenaline rush especially when we go up into canter drives and we get we're going a lot faster it's just it's just brilliant I can't, you can't I can't explain it it is, it is thrilling yeah. Uh, we're sort of looking into music that goes with the movement of the horses so what you find with the riders we first tried it uh, not first but recently tried it at the Royal Welsh Show and Chatsworth as well and it actually makes the riders ride better or drive better as well um, you get that so that sort of beats in the music as well so we kind of use something that's got a bit of a rhythm to it to the way they ride but something as well as popular and well known as well would you say you're a musician um, no, I wouldn't. Um, more of a signaller. So traditionally the role of a trumpeter is to signal calls to the back of the uh, troop because of how loud it is and it ranges from absolutely anything from walk to trot to um, left turns, right turns, everything. Um, it all stems from them. All we do is play what we know, um, which is whatever signal they give. Yeah. 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 Yeah.